So how do you record money that is going out of your company? Well, when your company spends money, it's very important to record where it's gone. The government, shareholders and even your own team members are going to want to know what has been spent and where. Thankfully, the Young Enterprise website has some tools to help you do this. The area where you enter information about payments the company has made can be found by logging into the Young Enterprise website. From the top navigation bar, select Company Information and then choose Company Accounts. Then make sure the Payments screen is selected. So let's take an example. One of the first things you will be required to do is to pay Young Enterprise the registration fee of £80. So let's do that. In this example, we'll assume it is being paid by cheque. You'll notice we have a number of columns, the first two of which have CR by them and the others have DR. The two columns with CR show a credit where you have given something to someone. The DR or debit columns indicate where you have received something or owe someone something. In this example, we are going to give Young Enterprise £80, so let's do that first. To add a row, click the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner. Click in the column titled Where To and enter something that will tell you where the money is going. As we are paying this £80 by cheque, I will click on column 9 and enter 80.00. Clicking away from the column will make the text go red and display an error at the bottom of the page that the two sides of the sheet do not balance, so let's correct that now. We look along for the most appropriate column. In this case, there is a specific registration fee column as column 18. I will click in that cell and add the £80 that indicates Young Enterprise are giving us registration into the programme. It does sound a little weird, but don't worry. By the end of the year, you will be able to do it in your sleep. Clicking away again, and all the text has turned black, so the two sides balance. I just have to remember to press the Save Changes button in the bottom right corner. That's it. You've just recorded your first payment. So now let's record a payment for the company where we are buying raw materials in the form of mugs that we're going to decorate and sell. We've ordered 10 mugs and two decorating pens so we can create our prototype or test products. The mugs cost £2.10 each and the pens were 80 pence each. We'll record the mug payment first. Go to the payments page of the Young Enterprise website by logging in selecting company information from the top navigation bar, choosing company accounts, and then making sure the payments button has been pushed. To create a new line, press the plus button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. In the where to column, I'll add the name of the company we bought the mugs from. We paid for the mugs using a check, so I'll enter that amount in column nine. Clicking outside the column turns the text red and displays a warning that we need to balance both sides of the sheet. We have a column titled Purchases in column 12 and this is where we can add all the raw materials that are used to build our products. However, notice that it has a star by it and this tells us that we need to account for VAT separately. Let's look at the invoice we received from the company we bought the mugs from you'll see that the price of the mugs was actually £1.75 each and therefore the 10 mugs cost £17.50. The rest, £3.50, was the VAT. So that is how we will enter it into our accounts. In column 12 I will add the £17.50 and in column 11 I will add £3.50. Great, the text has turned black so both sides are balanced correctly. Now. I just have to press Save Changes. Next, I'll enter the pen purchase. One of the team bought the pens at a local stationery shop and paid with cash. The pens were £1.60 in total, and from the receipt you can see that £1.34 was the cost of the pens and 26 pence was the VAT. I'll click on the plus icon once again, enter the name of the store, and add my £1.60 in the cash column. Then I'll add 26 pence in the VAT column and 1.34 in the purchases column. And hurrah! 
the text turns black and both my sides balance. I press save changes and I'm all done.